Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Doc, from SampleKings.com. And I'm here today to tell you about something new. I don't know what day it is, actually. But it is a brand new day for MPC. The MPC 3.4.3 is out now. And you can check it out. Well, here I am on the Kai website, of course. And to get downloads, you go right here where it says download. Oop, I'm on the download. And here it says MPC series downloads come right here, of course. And you can see it. Now, if you need the manual, you get it right here, of course. MPC standalone hardware users guide 3.4. Okay, so you got this download, this user guide right there. Or if you got the 2.15, you got that here, download it here. Okay, it's pretty simple stuff to do. And, of course, we scroll down a little bit more here, and we will see right here, we have the lens version, 3.4.3. Okay, so if you got a Mac, I got a Mac, I do this one right here. You got a PC, you do a PC, you do it right here. You want to put the file on a USB card or something, you know, get that card out, or a hard drive or something, and put it on there, you can do that. Okay, now, I want to get the update. Are we still good? Yes. Oh, we're still good. Perfect. It sees it. Let's update now. Do you want to save the changes you made to Untitled? No, I don't. Don't save it. Okay, now we're updating. It's updating. Whoa, look at that. We're in update mode, and we're going to be at 4. No, oh, that's 3.4.3. .3. So, we're back here now. We're loading up. And hopefully it's going to look good. So I want to check out some of these things here and see what's been fixed and what's not been fixed. Let's go here to menu. Oh, I'll do this first. Okay. Menu. And then go back to preferences. Let's go activation. We're activating again. So once you make the update, it has to think what it's doing. And that way you can update your NPC that way. It's pretty simple. It's very easy to do. It's not going to be complicated. Okay. Now, these are the versions they have here. You notice that 3.4.1 is missing because that was a bad update. I want you to realize something. This is beta. It doesn't mean it's like, oh my God, it's dope. It's just beta. That means it could have a problem. It will have a problem somewhere. And you're going to see that. You know, I could probably stick with 2.15 until they finished all this bugging. We have the MPC 3.4 release notes, and this is MPC 3 firmware update. Okay, so this is the whole deal. This release is for the MPC Key 37, MPC 1 Plus, MPC X SE, Special Edition, MPC Key 61, MPC 1, MPC Live 2, MPC X, and MPC Live Hardware. Okay. So is desktop software. The desktop software has not been updated, okay? It hasn't been. So in controller mode, MPC remains compatible with MPC 2.15, the desktop software. However, please note that projects created in standalone mode on version 3.4 are not backward compatible with the MPC 2.15 desktop software. So... It's not going to be compatible at all, but you can actually run them in sync, which is kind of cool. Downloading the firmware update. To download the firmware update, use those links I showed you already, and you can do that. So let's talk about the improvements. Now, the ongoing improvements are right here. For example, oh, we got problems too, actually. It says right here, we deeply appreciate the feedback from our MPC3 beta testers. They say users, but their beta testers really, <laughs> they don't want to say users. Two key areas, which is time signature support and the MIDI note off issue, have been in the forefront of our input. Please rest assured that we are actively working to address these concerns in future updates. Okay, there are bug fixes. These are the bug fixes. Using convert to song in song mode no longer causes crash. Using audio mixdown on separate tracks with returns now only contains audio for the separate track, other tracks cannot be heard in the resulting audio file. That's a pure fix right there, because before you'd hear the returns going in there. Next, we have improvements made for handling large sample loads. So if it's a large sample, it might take a while to load, might have to go to McDonald's and come back, I don't know, but it wasn't actually great. Next one, Splice is back. It's now back in the shortcut. Splice is now present in browser shortcuts. So the content, there's Splice right there in the content. 
If I had Splice, I could use it now, but I don't use Splice. So those of you that do, I guess you can be happy about it. Also, the Wi-Fi firmware upgrade to improve connectivity issues is fixed. I'll go here to Wi-Fi. Oh, look at this. Wi-Fi has changed totally. Prove this thing works really good now. I turned off Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn it on. Boom, that's fast. That's much faster than before. Also, for MIDI tracks in track edit with MIDI CC filter parameter filters, MIDI CC messages are correct now. That's good. Key group parameters load with the correct default when creating a new key group track or when updating the current track type to key group. I tested that, that's pretty good too. First thing I'm gonna do is go to here and say, look, you know something, I'm gonna make myself a brand new key group. I come into key group, whoa, browse or record something. Make sure I said that. And then we go back to here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to expansions. Then we're gonna go to trap. I'm gonna look for some sounds. I know there's a bass in here that I wanna use. I go to B, A, S, S. Press do it and there's the sound. I'm gonna hit this sound right here. Same sound no matter what. Okay, I'll do this one. Nothing. I go to here. I tap that again. There it is. Now it's there. Incredible. I tapped it once before. I tap it again. And now you see it right there. When editing insert effects in sampler mode. So I pull sampler mode, I want to add an effect. I got this record coming in, I want to get this sound. I want to sort of add some sort of effect to that sound as I sample it. Well, you would try that and you wouldn't see the parameters on the cue links. Well, now that is fixed. Menu, sampler, and I'm going to come over here and select an effect. So I'll go down to here. I go to Pro Delay. I put the delay there. And next, what I want to do is see if we can work it. Okay, now the names are there, see? So now you can actually see the cue links. Okay, uh, let's see. Resolve an issue in the drum synth multi mode where adjusting certain parameters on one drum synth would affect parameters on another. So if I have a snare drum, I'm trying to fix the snare drum, make it more snappy, it might affect a hi-hat or affect another higher sound. So I didn't like that and they fixed it, so uh, check it out. It has them all on it. Multi, there you go, that's the multi here. Let's look multi right here. Cool. All right, good. So multi's going on, I got default set here. Let's go to default and select something here. It's a trap. Okay, we load that one in, we're good. So if I change parameters for one of them, it was a problem before. So now, this won't be a problem. Okay, so let's check these parameters out. I'm gonna go over here, I'm in drum synth. Right? I gotta come to here, pick one to pick out. You can't tap a pad and get there, which is kind of funny. I guess that's the one right there, right? So let's see if I wanna tune that. That's not affecting that one. No, that's the one that's affecting. That's it. Now let's go to um, high. Get tuning better than that. Okay, that sounds cool. It's not affecting. Yep, not affecting anything else. As it did before. All right, good. That works. Next we have for drum and key group tracks, layer play random is no longer based 
towards layer one. So that means you're gonna randomly play any sun I have in these layers I have. It's not gonna just keep going back to number one. Pretty simple. What we got here next? We have, oh, using convert to key group in track edit for a pad on a drum track now creates a legacy key group which retains the parameters set from the drum track. So I got a drum sound. I got this, I hit that drum sound, I go hit the sample the way it looks there, I'm going to be in track edit, right? I got track edit, and up here at the top, you'll see this little key group thing, you hit that, and it will turn that one drum sound into an entire key group for you. Legacy style. So I like it, it's kind of deep too. That's a great improvement actually for cats making beats and want to just take one sound and layer it out quickly rather than going through a whole bunch of crap. Next improvement they did was this ability to take a drum sound and make it into a key group in a legacy way. So I'm going to hit this drum sound here, right? I'm going to go to here, open this up. I'm going to be right now, I'm in the edit window here for the track and for the particular sound in this track, which is this bass drum. So I want to make it into a key group. I come to right here and there you go. Legacies happened already, right? See, legacies right there and you'll see. There you go. Easy enough to do. And then you got a key group. And you'll see it right here. Trap 808. It's got its own key group. So I like that a lot. There are still a lot of issues though, man. Uh, they got them here too. They're not lying about it now. They got a lot of stuff here. Uh, larger projects in, uh, oh, pro large projects from 3.4.1 can fail to load with memory error. I got good Wi-Fi right here. And look at that. It's right here. There it is right there. You can get a lesson from me. It says here, Sample Kings Recording Studios and Lessons Book Time Now. It's only $20 an hour. Cash App is $20 an hour, and Cash App, here it is right here, this is the code to get the Cash App, right there. You want to use Venmo? Here's Venmo right here, 20 bucks an hour. Venmo is a company created by Cash App, no, created by PayPal, rather, funny. And of course, at the top here, you'll see it says PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, just click here. Now, most of us have our Cash App on our phones, those guys in America, and of course, Venmo's pretty much should be everywhere, and I know PayPal's around the world, and that works too. Now, of course, you can come down to here. You can call me. We have a phone. It works, and we answer the phone. That's deep. If I'm not in the session, I will answer that phone. Also, I'm actually in Tokyo working on a project now. So, look, you can call me in Tokyo, too, as well. If you're in Tokyo, you can call me. If you're in Spain, you can call me. If you're in the middle of Portugal, if you're in the Philippines, like my boy is, I do lessons for cats all over the world. It's in English, but look, I know what I'm doing. You know, I know you guys are watching the video. That's why you have to subscribe. Once you click that button, subscribe to us here in YouTube. It helps to grow the channel. I will be able to soon offer you super deals the more it grows. I got a deal. I want to get you all into my website for like just 20 bucks. And you can download all the stuff you want to download. Recording contracts. I even have a list of all the top record labels. I know who the A&R guys are. <laughs> I got a list, but I can't do things with a list. I got to grow this YouTube page up so I can have more members to work with. And you can also join SamplePings.com. There's no problem with that. I will see you in my next video, and I hope to see you this weekend. Any problems, give me a call and have fun.